This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is something very interesting. We've got uh, 101 volts, no electrolyte, 0.25 amps. And uh, we seem to be progressing very well. Again, what I've got here is 101 volts, point two, between 0.2425 amps. And you can see the hydrogen that is being produced. There's no electrolyte in this water. This is distilled water. Wow, look at that. We are definitely getting somewhere. I've got some electronics backing this up. I believe I'm actually producing more hydrogen right now than I was in the last video. And I am impressed takes a lot to impress me. If you look really close, there's a good shot. I mean, we are definitely producing here. Now, this is nothing like what I'm putting out in the focus cell at the present time. The focus cell is putting out uh, one liter a minute at 15 volts, at 15 amps, 12 volts. What we're doing here is 100 volts, 0.26 or 0.27 amps. But there's no electrolyte. The cells are spaced 1 16th of an inch apart. And uh, I'm impressed with that. I'll give you another view of the hydrogen coming to the top. Now, for all you naysayers, obviously this is not coming out like wildfire. But you know what? This is a very good start. And the interesting part is this is an honest start. What you see is what is actually there. You can better believe it. I, uh, I believe I'm putting out more than I was before in the last video. All things being the same, it, it is as if the Meyer system is working here. The Meyer theory, anyway. Theory being that you don't have to use watts, you don't have to use amps to pull it apart. What you have to do is get the voltage and the frequency right. And I am getting really close. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I don't kid around too much. By the way, I've gotten more than one or two comments on my website. I do appreciate the offers to make it better. I'm really not interested in making the website better. If you want to go to hydrogentap.com, you can see what they're talking about. They're being very nice about it in, in a very nice way, telling me I should improve it. Uh, that's really not what I'm about. I'm a tech, not a website engineer, and I know it could be better. But uh, I just don't have the time. 
I think for what I do have, it's not too bad. You can go to hydrogentap.com and see what they're all talking about. Uh, if you go to hydrogentap.com and click on YouTube, you'll see all the videos in order, which is what a lot of people have been asking for. Or you can write me, John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. I do answer my mail. There's another view of it. Again, we're running right now 100... Hundred dot four volts. Here's my volts and the amps. Point two. You can see it's moving a little bit. It's because the uh, pulse system that I have running through here is not that accurate. The pulses are actually changing. I've got two pulse systems running at the same time. One of the systems is the uh, alternating current itself, which goes to zero. In other words, I'm, I'm pulling DC off the alternating current. So every time it goes to zero, you get a pulse. So that's once every 60th, uh, 60 times a second. If you notice, that's not too shabby. You can see every once in a while we get a burst there. That's the collective amount of hydrogen bubbles. Let me pull it from another view here. There, there's another view. All I'm trying to do, all I'm trying to do is find the Everyone uses the word sweet spot. I really hate that word, but there's a point here in which I'm going to hit, and you're going to see hydrogen explode out of here, and I know it, and I believe I'm on the trail of it now. Again, this is two plates a sixteenth of an inch apart. What I'm, what I'm going to be doing is doing experiments with the focus cell, the one that I have on my site, and the neutral plates we're going to, are going to take a big part of this. And if I'm right, you're going to see that focus cell put out a lot of energy, hydrogen-wise, with very, very little bit of amps. It's going to be a neat ride. I hope you're around for it. Again, if you have any questions, you can write me at johnairons at hydrogentap.com. I do appreciate any comments you have. I always look at them. I've been invited to a number of uh, groups. I was going to say focus groups. number of groups. I have to tell you that uh, I'm a loner, so I really don't do well with groups. But that's probably good for, for me and not good for others. I had a question, was, uh, one of the questions I had the other day was, who, who are the people that I, you could call them mentors if you wish. That has got to be the Wright brothers. They took something that everyone was telling them wouldn't work. It wasn't practical and turned it around from the garage, right? Actually, if you go to my site, hydrogentap.com, you're going to see their pictures up there. That's just uh, my way of saluting them. So here we are. We're getting closer and closer. This is the second video of this hydrogen phenomena. So again, there's no electrolyte in this water at all. It's distilled water. And I've got 102 volts at 0.27 amps. To it. But I'm certainly working on it here in the lab. Again, you're looking at two plates. 
a sixteenth of an inch apart stainless steel no electrolyte hundred and five volts at 0.4 amps